had a little trouble trying to find which way to go. I'm trying to get in the arena. Got here real early, so <laughs> that was nice. Uh, so yeah, it's been a few years since I've been on this side, so they redid some things. It's, it's nice. been more than a year since you were traded. That it's weird you haven't gotten back here since, since then. Yeah, uh, with Boston, we played once in Boston yeah. and once in, once in Philly so far. So, yeah, it's uh, the year's gone by pretty quick, so it's nice to be back. When, when you think about your time here, you obviously broke in in Calgary, but this is really where you kind of took it to another level. What what comes to mind when you think about the like, three plus years here? Yeah, a lot does. Um, I think first just the community, um, you know, everything, everyone I live with, my neighbors, my teammates. Uh, my wife and I had two kids here, born here, uh, so my family started here, grew here. Um, special place, you know. And then then you bring in the hockey aspect. And like you said, it was a place I was, I was able to establish myself as a, an everyday NHLer. Um, I think kind of, yeah, uh, I've stayed in touch with a decent amount of guys. And then I yeah, had, had dinner last night. Um, yeah, it was nice. It's, uh, yeah, it's funny. You spent a lot of time in Virginia. So just having dinner in D.C. or in the Georgetown area, it's, uh, it's all kind of new. A team question for you like what's it like for you guys as a team you kind of know where the organization is going in terms of rebuilding all that the deadlines ahead but you guys are in a, in a playoff spot kind of what is the, the mood around the team kind of knowing that changes could be coming but you're trying to kind of play your way out hey guys guys know the situation that the, the organization's in um we want to win every guy in that room wants to win they want to be a part of a winning team a winning culture and and every guy in that room has helped us get to where we are now and they want to be a part of where we're going too so I think we know that we, we can't control what happens in the next week or so. Um, I know firsthand you, you can't control uh, if you get traded or when you get traded. So I think that's what that's what the guys who hear the rumors are thinking. Um, they can't control it, so let's worry about what we can do um, and, and keep what's in our control in our control. How have you guys been able to, again, still continue to keep winning games? You had some injuries and all that other stuff. How have you been able to do that? I think it's... I mean, it's tough. It's tough to win in this league. It's really hard. Um, and then to string in games when you you think maybe, you know, how 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 can you win when you have such a big part of your team out and it, it's guys stepping up. Um, and I I think first when I when I first got here, it was towards ask us asks you for the very most you can give, um, and that's what we've been getting from every guy, you know, throughout 60, 60 games so far. What, what, what have you enjoyed about it? Personally, I mean, the, the team has done very well from afar. It seems you're, you're fitting in pretty nicely there as well. What's allowed you to enjoy some success there? I think it's, it's the guys in the room. Uh, the structure that we, we play with probably. I think the, the coaching is a big part of it too. You know, going in as a free agent, trying to figure out, you know, what's this organization like? Uh, what can I expect? How do you hold guys accountable? How do you run your, your team? Uh, right away it was one that I, I was excited about joining right it's one that challenged guys to give their best try their hardest and that was camp for us right um I went into it knowing hey this is no one's gonna get get an easy way here to, to get ice time or games or wins right and it's we built this team to to compete in the league that's so hard on you um to get wins that you you have to show up every day and that's something I've enjoyed I've been competitive about it um it's the guys in the room that challenge each other every day. Your coach talked earlier in the year about how guys don't hit anymore. As someone who does is a, is a hitter, does that bum you out at all? Is it that, that how hitting has kind of declined even like even throughout your career? I, I'm not sure exactly what what he quoted saying. Uh, I'm not Just I'm not kids, sure it was kids, that, but I think it was. Learn, yeah, at a young age, kids don't learn to hit as much or receive a hit as much. That yeah. might be true. Um, you know, I, I I think when my my kids grow up. I'll watch a little more youth hockey. <laughs> you, might, you, might, you probably watch a lot more than I do. You know, it's, I, I'm, I'm not yeah. sure. Um, and so to compare stuff that I'm, I'm, I don't really know a lot about, I think it, it's tough to, to speculate on that. Was the last time you were in this building, you walked in thinking you were going to play a game, and then you were told otherwise? Or did you even get here? Uh, I didn't even get here. I had my suit on. Yeah, and I had a phone call. I was about to walk out the door. So that was that was nice. I didn't, you know, hit traffic on Constitution, but uh, I didn't make it that far. <laughs> Uh, no, I, I've talked to Nick, and uh, 
I, and I, I hope he hope he's back as soon as possible. Um, he's a big part of that team, and, and I knew that when I was there. So, um, yeah, it's we we talk a lot. So it's um, it is what it is. But I hope he comes back soon. Did you give you shit after you hit him last time, guys. Well, yeah, I'll keep that off the record. <laughs> yeah, we don't like we don't like talks. How much appreciation do you have for did you have for Nick as a player from playing with him and kind of everything he can do? Yeah. Uh, oh, I have so much respect for him. Just I'll skip the off the ice stuff, but on the ice, um, yeah. I, it starts in the face-off circle. It's just how how much work he puts in um, to study the game, learn the game, work on his own game. Um, I think that fed to how successful we were on the ice. We had control of the puck most of the time. We started in our D zone a bunch, um, and we got out of the zone because of him. Uh, as a center, you have to control a lot of that play. You got to reel guys in that your line mates. You have to know what the D you're doing, and and he was a big part, I think, of me figuring out my own game um, and. And I think we complement each other well, but uh, it's he, there's you know I'll go to the the rumors around the league now. You know there's it's not by mistake people are talking about him, um, and I think it's a long time coming.